Hi guys, welcome to Mrs O'Gram's Maths. This video is going to take you through using Endographer um, to display box and whisker and uh, dot plots. So you've got a set of data that you want to do some analysis of. Um, this one's going to be a list of boys and girls and how much money they spent on their ball um, in dollars. So you can see I've got a whole list of values here. So I'm going to copy those to be able to put them into Endographer. So in our data section up here in the top left corner, we've got some options here. Now we can open a file as long as it's saved as a CSV file, it will go into there. Um, but actually a little bit easier than that is just to paste the information we've got. So I'm going to paste the details that I've just copied from that Excel spreadsheet with the titles in there as well. Then we click on import and we've got a data set to go with. Now, just a little side note, if you don't have a data set to start with, you can play around with it in Zgrapher by selecting one of these presets up here. So carrying on with this, we want to be able to make a dot plot with a box and whisker graph. So we select that from our graph type. Then we have to tell it which variables to do that on. So we're going to go for amount spent. And here we have a dot plot of all of the data that we've just input into our graph. Now, there's some useful things down here that we might want to adjust as well. So first of all, we want to include the summaries there that give us important bits of information. So it gives us things like the minimum value, the quartiles, the median, the mean, the maximum value, the standard deviation, and how many data points we have. We also want to show a box plot. Now, you can either do this overlaid um, on top of the dots if you want, or you can do a high box plot which just shows it up at the top so that it doesn't confuse things over the top of your uh, dot plot. You would also want to change some of these things, so we want to change that title to something sensible. And then you just update the graph. You can have a play around with um, adjusting these uh, axes. You can change the size of the dots and how um, transparent they are. You can change colors and the um, labels that you've got on your graphs and that sort of thing. The other thing you might need to do is to compare two groups. So here we've got boys and girls. So we might, might want to separate them by gender. So we can make a comparison between those two groups. So you just simply select that as your variable number two. Now, one more thing, before getting to that graph, you might be required to take a sample. So if we pretend we've got the entire population details in here in our table, and we want to go through a method of sampling, NZ Grapher will do that sampling for you. So we can take a sample here under this menu, and you can select the type of sampling you're, you're doing. You can do stratified. I'm going to stick with simple random. We just want a random selection of people to compare. Now, sample sizes should be at least 30 big, and it should be, if you're splitting it into two groups, you want at least 30 in each group. I'm not going to go straight for 60 because it might not be an even 30-30 split. I'm going to go for 100 just to make sure we get a minimum of 30 in each of those groups. And then we can redo um, our graphs just the same as you did before and you can see now we've ended up with 49 boys and 51 girls in our sample set and we can make some inferences about the population from that sample. 